really need to talk to you alone. Okay. Can you give us a minute? But please don't go too far. We have some unfinished business to discuss. Oh, certainly, certainly. If you're looking for advice, I'm, you couldn't have come to a wiser person. My brother's wife understands people's faults and can look past them. Even mine. Vanilli is my best friend, and I would never want to do anything to hurt him, but that's exactly what I would be doing if I decided to date Logan. So he's going to be hurt no matter who you date. He wants to be more than just friends with you. He, yeah, he's kind, he's nice, and he would lay down in front of a bus for me. No chemistry. None at all. Well, you kind of have to be attracted to the guy you're dating. And I am attracted to Logan, even though everyone is telling me to stay away from him. And that's part of the appeal. No, 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 it's more than that. You told me he was a jerk. It, yes, he can be, at least to most people, but Logan hasn't had the best life for a lot of reasons, mainly because his dad bailed on him before he was born. So he has a serious problem trusting people and he shuts himself off and builds up these walls to protect himself from getting hurt again. And I don't know, every now and then I get a glimpse of who Logan really is and there is something about that person that I just can't seem to stay away from. And that's the problem, is Benelli has not seen that side of Logan so he thinks that I'm just gonna get hurt. Do you consider Spinelli a good judge character? Well, he worships Jason. He pretty much thinks that Rick is corrupt scum. Um, he has a lot of respect for Sonny, even though he's scared to death of him. And he worships you. The kid's got great instincts. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to follow him. So what, you think that I should take Logan? I think you should do whatever you want to do. But if you're wrong about Logan, I hope Spinelli will come through for you regardless. That's what a true friend does. How do you know if someone is right for you? A whole lot of trial and error. I'm serious. What you think you may want is the exact opposite of what you need, and you're never going to know until you put yourself out there. Even if it hurts the person that you care about the most? You can't help who you're attracted to. Okay, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you want to be with the guy that drives you crazy. The guy who makes you blush without even trying. A man who is impossible to get close to, but when you do, it's one of the best feelings in the whole world. And then there's that time that you just want to be with the guy who is there for you, no matter what. You call him at 3 a.m., he's there at 3.05. And he's not asking you what you did wrong, he just wants to make sure you're okay. I don't know which guy that you need to be with. But what I do know is you need both of them in your life. You just described Sonny and Jason, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So where does that leave Jax? Jax is the kind of man every woman dreams of finding. He's gorgeous. He's rich, he's confident, he's independent, and he loves me for me. No matter how self-destructive I get, which can be pretty bad. And to top it all off, he loves my kids. He adores my kids. I couldn't ask for anything more. Except for him to be here right now. That would be great. Oh, you haven't heard from Jack. No. Thanks to Jerry. But I'm not going to get angry because that would be counterproductive. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to remind myself how much I love him. You know how hard it is to find a man like Jack's? Women wait forever for a Jack to come along. Right, right. Well, no, I, I, I get why you um, love him now, but, you know... How was it in the beginning? How did you know that he was the one? Well, I think it took a while for me to figure that out. But what made the difference was the way Jax looks at me. Like I'm the only person in the room. I know that look. Getting that right now. Everybody wants to find that person that makes them see rainbows and stars, okay? But we need more. If Spinelli is half the friend to you that Jason is to me, you hold on to him for dear life.